Hey everyone, it's Jill Celeste from JillCeleste.com, where I teach purpose-driven entrepreneurs all they need to know about marketing so they can become the director of marketing for their business. Because when you're the director of marketing for your business, you put your marketing tasks first, which means you're constantly attracting clients and earning more money. One fabulous way to attract clients is to do webinars. Webinars are one of my favorite marketing strategies because it allows me to share my expertise, to connect with my tribe, uh, to add to my email uh, list, and perhaps even sell a product depending on the objective of the webinar. I often get questions from my students and clients, I want to do a webinar, Jill, but I'm really not sure how to effectively promote it. So into this video, I'm going to share with you seven, yes, seven ways you can promote your webinars. And all of these are ones that I have used in the past, and if you use even just one of these, you will have a lot of success uh, getting people to your webinar, but I do recommend going full blast and trying to promote in many different ways because that's how you attract a lot of different people. So let's first get into what are these seven ways. So the first way is to email your list. Even if you only have 50 people on your list, or maybe you have 5,000 people on your list, it doesn't matter. I want you to email them and invite them to your webinar. Now here's the thing. Uh, what I have found in my experience is that people don't need a lot of advance notice for webinars. I used to, you know, give people like 10 days notice, seven days notice. Now I'm down to about maybe 48, 72 hour notice. So you figure out what works best for your tribe, but make sure that you are, of course, giving them a little bit of advance notice. But here's the thing I really want you to do. I want you to constantly remind them and make sure that you are emailing them the day of the webinar to tell them it's not too late to register. I get a good portion of my registrations during that last uh, six hours before the webinar goes live. So make sure you do that last chance registration reminder so that you can attract people into your webinar. The second thing you can do is use social media. You've got to use social media consistently and constantly so that you're getting that information out to people because again, social media is constant consumption. So use your Facebook page, use your Facebook uh, groups if you have one, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Google+, whatever you're using, use it to its full maximum capacity. And that includes using any of the live streaming features. So if you're on Facebook, use Facebook Live. If you're on Instagram, use Instagram Stories. Uh, if you're on Twitter, then use their live feed. Whatever it takes, but you want to always be promoting your uh, webinar in a lot of different ways through your social media and do constant reminders again, especially right before the event because a lot of people will make that last minute decision and register. So just remember to constantly promote through social media. Hand in hand is the third way uh, you can promote your webinar and that's through Facebook ads. Facebook ads are an incredibly successful way to attract people to your webinar. Now here's the thing. It may not be something you can do because, first of all, there's a budget there. You have to spend money, obviously, for Facebook ads, and I totally get that. But if you can afford to do so, I really do recommend doing a little bit of an ad spend with Facebook. Now, to make sure that you really are maximizing your investment, I do recommend that you learn as much as you can about Facebook ads and or hire someone to do these ads for you. Facebook ads is its own little nuance. It's not impossible to learn, but there's a lot of tricks to really maximize your investment. So become an expert in Facebook ads if you're going to use that in your marketing or hire an expert to do it for you. That's really how you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck, especially with webinar registrations. So number four, that leads us to number four, is to ask others to promote your webinar. Create some swipe copy, meaning a copy that they can use in their Facebook pages, their tw uh, Twitter accounts, their email uh, list. Create the copy for them. Give them a link and ask them to share it. Make it as easy as possible for your partners to share the webinar uh, with their tribes. And of course, uh, you can add an affiliate link if that helps to sweeten the pot. Um, and or you can just promise to promote their event, uh, do it like an exchange, a promotional exchange. I promote this, you promote that. Um, but get, really getting that kind of grassroots um, promotion really does help because it's not, it's very genuine. Usually when the person shares it, uh, they're adding in their two cents, they're explaining why they're sharing it, they might say they're a big fan of yours, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And it's just often getting your name and, and uh, ideas in front of a new crowd of people uh, through your promotional partners. But again, make it super easy for them. Give them copy, literally a Word document or a web page where they can copy and paste the information 
uh, so they can turnkey it and put it on their social media or on their email list or they're talking about it in their networking groups, whatever the case may be. But line up some promotional partners to help you with that webinar. You will be surprised how effective this is, especially if you give your promotional partners the right tools to promote it. The next thing you can do is to maximize your networking. So a lot of times when we think about online marketing, so webinars are a form of online marketing, and a lot of times entrepreneurs, when they're doing something online, they only think in the online world, but you can absolutely promote an online event in real life, in person, uh, and networking is a way to do it. I have often created flyers, and when I would go to a networking meeting in my elevator speech, I would, uh, I would adapt the elevator speech to promote my webinar, and I would have the flyers there for people to, uh, to grab. I made sure I brought plenty because what often would happen is someone would say, oh, I need one for my friend too. And so there's, you know, just make sure you have a lot. It can just be a very simple black and white flyer. It doesn't have to be anything terribly fancy. But just having that there as a, as a leave behind is really valuable. It gives a person, they can go home, they'll have the web address on there, they can go and register uh, right away. Also, ask your uh, networking uh, chapter president if you can promote it on their Facebook page or in the Facebook group or their Twitter account, wherever they are existing on social media. If they can put it on their event calendar or promote it to their list, ask the networking uh, person, the person in charge of your networking group, how they can help you promote this webinar because it's free, it's gonna be good information. So really maximize your networking contacts to help you. And they also may be great promotional partners, so think about that as well. Another thing you can do, it takes a little planning, but it works really well, is you can write a guest blog post or an article and have it timed so that the, you can talk about your, uh, your webinar sort of at the end to invite people to attend. So you wanna create, of course, create an article that's relevant to the topic of your webinar, right? So you're gonna write it, you're gonna put it on a high trafficked uh, web page or maybe with a promotional partner on his or her uh, blog as a guest blog post. And then in the call to action or in your bio, you can invite people to your webinar. Um, so you can do this, you know, you can don't have to just choose one blog. You can do several different blogs or several different articles uh, generating sites. Um, but if you're real strategic about that, this can really, really build some new people into your fold. And uh, it's a great way because they're going to read the article and you're going to pique their interest. And they're going to be like, oh, I want to learn more about that. And boom, there's a webinar to help them out. So that's something. It does require a little timing, a little planning on your part. But if you can pull it off, it's super effective. And that leads me to my seventh tip, which also does require a little bit of planning. But again, if you can pull this off, it is really effective at adding people to your webinar. And that is to secure some type of interview. So that could be a media interview where you're on TV or on a radio show or maybe even newspaper or magazine or a podcast interview, which sometimes are a little easier to nail. Again, you got to watch the timing, but again, if you can uh, pitch an idea uh, to that webinar, or sorry, to that podcast host or to uh, a reporter, and you know, you and have it relate to your webinar, it gives a natural segue. There's something about being in the media, and again, I'm still including podcasts in that. I consider that a form of media. Um, something about that credibility is is really important and influential to your ideal clients. They see you on this podcast or they see you in this newspaper article or they see you on this very um, important uh, radio show, whatever the case may be. And if you have an opportunity to say, hey, I'm gonna be talking about this on uh, such and such a day and you can come for free, it's a free webinar, uh, that's gonna really entice them to, to sign up. So again, you might have to plan this out, but really think about how you can use that, that medium of interviews to help you get build some excitement about your webinars. And what I say with all of this, but webinar is a, is a large endeavor, it's a worthwhile endeavor, and it really helps if you get your calendar out and really map out when you're gonna send your emails, when you're gonna post on Facebook, when you're gonna do Facebook Live, when you're gonna arrange the podcast interviews, really work that out. And especially if you wanna do podcast interviews and guest blog posts, it may be a 90 day out thing, right? So you can secure those interviews in the right time. But you can plan it. This is just a matter of planning and making sure you have your timetable set up. So use a calendar to help you with all your promotional needs for this webinar. So lots of different ideas, hopefully something to get your creative juices flowing. If you need additional marketing advice, come on over to my website at jillceleste.com. I am there. Check out my blog post. So many uh, different articles with lots of information to help you. And until next time, here's to your marketing success. I'm sending you lots of love. Have a good day.